have uh, a couple of, of roles, at least that I identify with. One is to curate, in a way, and inform, influence the decisions we make about what restaurants we go to, what movies we see, what television shows we watch, and what books we, we read. Um, and then there's a second role, and that is to teach us how to assess restaurants, movies, and assess books. Uh, and uh, I think that latter role remains essential and very important. The former role about influencing what we buy and read and watch and eat, I think may have declined a little bit because of the emergence, in a way, the democratization of criticism and where we can go to a site like Goodreads or even on Amazon and watch and, and look at the reader reviews and read them. And there's a growing body of research that talks about who average Canadians trust when they want to go to a new restaurant or read a book. And they tend to trust, most of all, people like us, is the phrase that is used. They tend to trust their neighbor, their friends, their parents, their brother, their sister, their work colleagues, uh, and uh, that who are probably looking at reading a book and perhaps watching a movie through a different lens than the critic they're reading in, in the Globe and Mail. So it's an interesting development, and I think those two roles of critics uh, are really important, but the one that shapes what we buy and, and, and consume may be declining somewhat.